Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the constrictor knot. This knot has a ton of different uses, including being used as a surgical ligature, as a rope whipping to keep ends from being frayed, and as a zip tie if you don't have any of those lying around. I'm going to be showing you two different ways to tie this knot. There's a couple different methods for tying the constrictor knot. The first one that we're going to go over is for when you have access to one rope end, but not access to the ends of the object you're tying it around. So we'll begin by passing the rope over the object, and then we'll bring it around to the left side, then we'll cross it over the top again in an X, bring it around to the right side, then we're going to go over our standing end, this is our standing end here before going underneath both cords down towards the bottom. Pull both ends to tighten. We've got a secure knot that won't let loose when we pull on either end. This is a difficult knot to untie, so make sure you have it in the right place before you tighten it down. The second method of tying the constrictor knot is best when you have access to one end of your object, but not access to either end of your rope. So this knot is tied in the bite, or in the middle of the rope. We'll begin by making an S, by twisting our cord around like this. We'll keep on twisting until the cord loops over itself, making this figure eight shape. Then we're gonna pinch all three cords in the middle of that figure eight, and lift it up, and then we'll fold our two loops down, so that we've got this nice knot right here. We can then slide it right over the end of our object, tighten both ends, and there's our finished constrictor knot. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe. We put out videos twice a week where we cover things like knot tutorials, how to make things out of paracord, and just generally have a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.